Hi, everybody. This is Michael Brown reporting for MCTV Sports from Rochester, Minnesota, the site of the NJCAA Women's National Basketball Championships Division Three. And tonight, unfortunately, for Montgomery College, their dreams of a national championship were dashed by the Rock Valley Golden Eagles 72 to 60. The game started with Rock Valley just absolutely on fire. They came out very fast. Uh, the pace was, was terrific on their part, both at the offensive end and the defensive end, and they dominated in the first half. They controlled the boards. They, their shooting was phenomenal, uh, particularly by um, number 10, Tarika Lindsay. Uh, she had a tremendous first half uh, and, and really led them throughout the half. At one point, the lead had expanded to 20 points uh, for Rock Valley in the first half, and they led at the half 40 to 24. I was in the uh, Raptors locker room at halftime. Coach Tarla Gasquay basically challenged her team. She said, you're playing their game. You're playing as if you're scared. Go out there and play your game. Play hard. Don't be scared. You guys can do it. And I'll tell you, they outplayed Rock Valley in the second half. They got that message from Coach Gasquay. They went out there and they played hard. They did play their game, but they fell short. They did manage to cut the lead to six points with about four minutes to go in the game. They had it under 10, the lead under 10 with about 10 minutes to go. They got it down to six with about four minutes to go, but they just couldn't get any closer. They, this team literally ran out of gas today. Uh, Jamila Thali at the end of the game was completely exhausted physically. She had to be carried off the court uh, and into the locker room. And as a matter of fact, I was just in the locker room. She's still on the floor in the locker room, but she has regained some strength. They're feeding her fluids. Uh, she's getting expert medical attention, uh, both by the uh, Raptors trainer and there are personnel here from the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. She's, she's getting the best possible care. Um, but she ran out of gas. Capriya Redparth played sick today as well. She ran out of gas. And then the other problem for the Raptors in the second half were, were, was fouls. Uh, Jocelyn Martin, who led uh, the Raptors to victory last night with 31 points, was in foul trouble for most of the game. She ended up only playing 23 minutes and scoring just seven points before fouling out with about six or uh, six or seven minutes to go in the game. And then the Raptors lost their point guard, Jar Talway, to fouls with a couple of minutes to go in the game. They just couldn't overcome both the illnesses and the foul trouble. They played valiantly. They have nothing, nothing absolutely to hang their head about. They played hard. They, put, they gave it everything they had. They literally gave it everything they had. I talked to Coach Gasquay after the game. She was gracious enough to give us an interview, and she is very proud of her team. She is proud of her team. Obviously, she's disappointed. All the players were crying in the locker room. I was in there for just a couple of minutes after the game. I really didn't want to uh, uh, intrude, so I was just in there for a minute or two to grab some equipment and get out, but the girls were overcome with, uh, with emotion. Uh, they did not expect, uh, they did not expect to lose tonight and, uh, they did. And it's, it's a tough bitter pill to swallow, but this team has a lot of character and they will play for third place in the country tomorrow night. Um, right now that, that, uh, opponent is being decided, um, as, uh, rock, uh, uh, Roxbury is playing Mohawk Valley, and Montgomery College will play the loser of that game tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Real quickly, the final stats. Jamila Thaly, sick and all, had a double-double, 15 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists. Uh, Capria Redparth also played ill. She had 14 points and 12 rebounds, another double-double. And then Angelica Sacconi, Freshman sensation had 15 points and eight rebounds. Uh, Jar Talway had nine points, and uh, Jocelyn Martin had seven to round out the scoring for the Raptors. The leading scorer 
for uh, Rock Valley. Uh, I mentioned her earlier, Tarika Lindsay. She finished with 23, and uh, she was the big difference in the game for Rock Valley tonight. So, uh, once again, our final score, uh, Rock Valley 72, Montgomery College 60. Stick with us because this thing is not over yet. Montgomery College will play for third place in the nation tomorrow night, and we will be here. We'll be covering it, and we'll bring you um, our reports after the game and uh, during the game as well to keep you up to date on what's happening. So, from Rochester, Minnesota, this is Michael Brown saying good night to all of you for MCTV Sports.